Hey Finksters, what's up? It's Chris, founder of Finkster.com and in today's video I thought it's going to be fun to learn how to open a PDF file in pure Python. So would you be interested in learning this? So then let's right, dive right into it. So I will discuss four methods. Uh, the first one is with OS system, the second with subprocess popen, the third one with web browser open new and this basically also allows us to open some PDFs that are hosted at, an, uh, at a certain given URL. Okay, so let's write, dive into the, into the uh, methods. Um, maybe I first show you my, my folder structure. So say I have a file here in my, uh, my code script. You can see my code script. It's named open underscore PDF dot pi. It's in the folder desktop Python open PDF. Okay, so this is my, my code script. And in the same folder, I have a PDF file. So this one. Let's. This is a PDF I want to open. It's just a just a plot of the of some freelancers and how many successful completed gigs they have. So just some random plot. Okay, so let's um, open the file name and say we 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 like in our method one, we simply have a given path. This can be really any path, and in this case, it's just a just a very simple path. Uh, uh, specifier. Okay, so and the first method works with uh, with the OS module. So we first import the OS module, and then we call OS dot system, and we, we we pass our path argument, so a string value, into the OS system function. That's it. So the OS system function opens files. <laughs> Very simple. Okay, and uh, so if we run the code, we see it first opens this command uh, command line um, basically a, a, a shell in your operating system and this shell then so um, opens my PDF okay so it's like a two-step approach so which can be a bit nasty because it first opens opens the cmd.exe on my windows on on Linux it will open the terminal on Mac OS it will also open the terminal so um, it will open like the command line or shell or terminal on your on the different operating system and then this terminal will then open the PDF which yeah as I said can be a bit uh, nasty so what if you want to really like uh, you, you don't want to open the PDF open the terminal in between that then opens the PDF but you want to open the PDF right away so what can you do you can use the second method our, me our second method it imports the sub process module then again we have our path so we simply like we we simply use this same path variable maybe just copy it for to make it um, make it simpler to, to read and then we have the command sub process dot p open with a capitalized p then we pass a list of path names and in our case it has only the list is only one element so one path uh, we set shell to true and that's it so we run the code and you can see now this opens a python shell which then in turn opens um, opens not the command line as before but it opens um, the pdf file it, itself in in like in your standard uh, standard way on the operating system you usually define a standard way um, that displays the pdf files okay so this is a, this is a perfectly uh, valid uh, second way and an alternative which i also wanted to show you is the following so you import web browser you set path to my file again, my file.pdf, same same file, and then you can call web browser dot open open new. Like there's a and we pass a path argument. Okay, so that's it. Also like a simple one line, a web browser dot open new. Um, and the difference is first it's a bit easier to use than this sub process p open, and the second one is that you can like if your web browser per default opens files. Um, in um, in the web browser, then it will open the web browser new tab and um, place the PDF into the into the new tab. Okay, but in my case, it will uh, probably just open uh, the Adobe Acrobat Reader as well. Okay, this works. And the beautiful thing about this web browser method is that you can also in method four. So let's copy this whole thing. Name it uh, method four. You can also like copy some, um, have some more complicated paths that basically point not to a file on my operating system, but to a file on a given URL. For example, this one is the uh, file is uh, um, uh, the location to a cheat sheet that I give out to my email subscribers. Um, it's also a PDF file, as you can see, uh, quite complicated name, but but it's an URL, okay, with HTTPS prefix and so on. And now we simply um, path uh, pass this path variable into the web browser open new um, method, 
and if you run it, it opens. Okay, this was basically, I haven't commented this out. Um, I should have commented this out and this out because then it will, of course, it will open the same file multiple times. Okay, let's run this again. F5. Okay, and now you see it has opened my cheat sheet. Okay, so it opens and it has opened the cheat sheet in a in a in a web browser, basically in my uh, default web browser, which is uh, Firefox. Um, surprisingly, most people use Chrome. Um, okay, good. So this this will then open any URL in the um, in your um, Python shell. Okay, so these are the four methods I want to show you to open a PDF uh, on your computer or to open um, a PDF from a given URL in your web browser. Um, thanks for watching this video and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye.